Hey guys, welcome back. Now I'm going to start working on a new sensor that is TSL2561. It's a light sensor. And to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over the website that is controlleverything.com and here search on for this sensor that is TSL2561. And here we go. As you can see, it's a light to digital converter 16 bit programmable gain I2C mod module. And these are some of its features. You can also purchase the sensor from here. I will be interfacing the sensor TSL2561 with an Arduino Nano and I require a code. So go to the source tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. You can have the code sample as a zip file from here and you can also have the code from GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now what we require is to collect some hardware so that we can make connections for the working and the interfacing. Now coming to the hardware section, first of all we require a light sensor that is TSL2561 and here is an Arduino Nano. Now this here is an I2C shield which is available on the website controlleverything.com. Why we use this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices and that connection should be a lot easier. So gently press over the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make a connection. Further to make a connection among the sensor and the I2C shield we need this, a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same applies for the I2C shield. Finally we need to power up our Arduino Nano and for that we require a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it on the power jack. So we are done with the connections part now let's have a look over the Arduino code so that we can interface the sensor with that. So for the interfacing part, first of all we have to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and there you go, here search for the sensor TSL2561 and here it is. Now this is the Arduino code. Let's have a look over the instructions first. It says that we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and this link arduino.cc will help us to do that. As you can see, you can download the Arduino software from here and you can install it on Windows, Mac or Linux. It's your choice. Do it carefully. Now let's have a look over the code now. As you can see, it's .in extension file. Now as you see, first of all we have included wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x39. Now in the void setup function, we have initialized I2C communication as master along with serial communication and the baud rate equal to 9600. Now in the writing part we have the control register selection which is 0x00 along with command register 0x80 and we have power on mode which is 0x03. Next we have to select timing register having address 0x01 along with or with command register 0x80 and the command is nominal integration that is 402 ms and this is 0x02. Now so we are done with the writing part, let's have a look over the reading part. In the void loop function, we have the for loop as you can see for 4 times and we are selecting the data register from the address 140 that is the decimal equivalent. Now we are reading and requesting 4 bytes of data as you can see, 1 byte 4 times and we have the conversion of the data as you can see which is according to the formulas being provided on the data sheet for TSL2561, it's for channel 0 and 1. After the calculation, we have to display the result on the serial monitor. As you can see, we have the full spectrum, infrared value and the visible values. So this is how the code is. Now what we require is to have a look over the working. Let's have a look over that also. Now as you see, uh, we have to show the working which is the practicality of this code. So for that, first of all, copy this entire code of the Arduino and open up the terminal for the Arduino terminal as you can see on my screen and here we have to paste the entire code and then save it TSL2569 is the reference and now verify and compile the code and it's done now upload the code the code is being uploaded as you can see on my screen it's uploaded now open up the serial link so that serial monitor so that we can have the values for full spectrum infrared and visible values as you can see the values are almost constant now when i move an object over the sensor you can see there's a change in full spectrum infrared and visible values it's decreasing when i move closer the object near the sensor and it's going on to decrease 
now it's normal but when I place some light source near the sensor you can see there is an increase in full spectrum infrared and visible values and it's going on to increase as I move closer the light source near the sensor so this is how the sensor responds to the Arduino code along with the Arduino name. Now what we require is to have a look over the applications, the benefits and the features for the sensor TSL2561. The TSL2561 is a light to digital converter that transforms light intensity to a digital signal output capable of direct I2C or SMS interface. This device combines one broadband photodiode and one infrared responding photodiode on a single CMOS integrated circuit capable of providing a near photoopic response over an effective 20 bit dynamic range. It's applicable in a lot of applications like notebook, tablet, PCs, LCD monitors, light control, street light control, security lighting, sunlight harvesting, machine version, and a lot more. This answer is available on the website controleverything.com and you can purchase it from there. Also you can have the code from there. The resource tab is there and you can download the code as a zip file. Now you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end I would just like to make it clear that if you are left without fully understanding any part of this video or sensor. You can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on community page of this website. For blogs and articles, you have a look over instructables.com. You can go there. And also, to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks a lot for watching.